Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Augie and before we get into the video, like always, if you are new to the channel, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to turn on the post notification bell so you never miss out on another new video. Also, as of a couple days ago, we just received the join button over here on YouTube so that if you want to support the channel even further, you can go ahead and do so. There are a ton of cool emotes and perks to get along with it, so if you want to go the full length in supporting the channel and if you want to see more consistent uploads, be sure to join the channel by clicking the join button right below this video. Now, with all that said and done, enjoy the video. Now, when it comes to the newer up and coming series in Weekly Shonen Jump, there are quite a few that you could say have the potential of rising to the top once of course their certain specific series have accumulated enough chapters to be considered a regular face within the magazine. And as of just last year, we've had multiple names from all across the board surface their way into the magazine and have definitely made some noise just within one year. Series like Phantom Seer, Ayakashi Triangle, Mashal, and most importantly, Undead Unluck. And Under the Luck is a series that debuted on January 20th of 2020, just one week before the release of the series Mashal Magic and Muscles, also another series on the rise in Weekly Shonen Jump. And for those of you who know, I'm a huge fan of Mashal, and I would be lying to you if I told you that I'm more of a fan of Undead and Luck than I am of Mashal, but what I can say is that for the time that both Mashal and Undead and Luck have been around for, Undead and Luck has honestly surprised me more on a variety of things than what Mashal has done since the start of the series. And for a series like Undead and Luck to honestly be the most unique series in Weekly Shonen Jump right now, for the sales it's been accomplishing and the fandom that has been growing upon, the series of Undead Luck's future is looking really bright for what's next to come in the magazine of Weekly Shonen Jump. And if you're the type of person who's looking for an oddly unique but amazing series that is still ongoing, then this is strangely enough the series for you. And just like a lot of other manga, this series was recommended to me by a good friend of the channel and someone some of you may recognize, Jet the Prophet. He's been on the channel a few times now already, so I was like, why not have him on for the video for the series he put me on? So with that being said, let's take a trip on this series and hopefully by the end of the video, Jet and I can show you a little bit about Undead Unluck. Undead Unluck is an action adventure series set in the modern world. The story follows our two main protagonists, Fuko Izumo and Andy. Fuko has the power of Unluck, which causes anyone who touches her bare skin to experience bad luck. This isn't your typical bad luck such as falling down the stairs, it's more on par of falling down the stairs, breaking every single bone in your body and then exploding. What I mean is that her power causes bad things to happen to the people who touch her. But these instances of unluck are more powerful if she's emotionally involved with the person who touches her. Due to her power, Fuku avoids people at all costs and has never experienced love before. Then there's Andy, who has the power of undead. This basically gives him insane regeneration, similar to Marvel's Wolverine and Deadpool. But this ability is more of a curse than a blessing as Andy has been alive for hundreds of years. He's watched friends and loved ones die as he continues to live on forever alone in this world but it's fine since he hides it by being the funny guy similar to deadpool man is andy just a deadpool clone i mean it's kind of funny since andy uses a sword just like deadpool and andy has a gun move just like deadpool huh interesting all andy wants out of life is to finally kick the bucket but he can't since he just keeps regenerating when andy and fuko meet they realize that the other is bringing something to the table that they wanted out of life andy can finally give fuko the true romantic love she was lacking in life as and is the only person who can survive her unlucky instances and fuko with enough time could give andy the death he's finally wanted so in a way this series is also a rom-com the plot of undead unluck is truly a wild ride andy and Fuku's relationship grows as we watch the two take on all types of threats together. And within Undead Unluck's plot comes most importantly that of what makes the series of Undead Unluck so unique. And with over 55 plus chapters, it's honestly very limited for most series to just come on out with such a unique flow to it. I mean, for a start, the power system alone from the series is enough in of itself to prove to someone who is trying to find something very obscure, but at the same time still have that shonen feel to it that something like negators and UMAs in the series of Undead Unluck are something that I've personally never seen before. On top of that, when you go into a little bit more deeper, when you look at what a negator is, it perfectly plays with how this series presents its characters and like i said it still has that shonen feel to it so looking at it from a surface level it isn't so complex to a point of misunderstanding but in specific when referring to a negator the people of the world of undead unluck that have the ability to negate the rules of the world the names of negation abilities are prefaced with the starting of un hence why the two main characters of the series are undead and unluck 
And looking further past just the regular few people that are negators of the series, there is of course the Union, and the Union are an organization specialized in the hunting of UMAs in order to complete quests set by the artificial apocalypse. To put it simply though, a special team of certain negators throughout the world that work together to defeat monsters from destroying the universe. And in order to become a part of that specific team, you would need to pretty much kill off one of the members in order to free up an open spot. And touching back on what I said a bit earlier, within Under the Luck, likewise, you have your negators and of course the Union. But on the topic of a UMA, an unidentified mysterious animal, they're basically a formatted creature created by God that is in most need of elimination, otherwise it leaves not only Earth, but the universe in danger. And all in all, with a little bit of information on just what makes the series of Undead Unluck so unique, there can be certain characters within the series that just make it a whole lot better. Undead Unluck has a wide cast of pretty unique characters. There isn't a character in the series that is unlikable. Just about every character has something to like about them. What I really like about some of the characters in Undead Unluck is that their personalities and negator powers are closely related to their powers and affect how their personalities are. For example, my favorite character Shin has a negator power that is only triggered when he is subconsciously fond of his target. Which makes sense because as a character, Shin is very interested in other people especially when it comes to fighting as he loves to fight. Similar to my favorite Black Clover character Luck Voltia and my favorite My Hero Academia character Katsuki Bakugo. Hold on, does that say something about me? I just like characters that like fighting. Am I meathead? Another character affected by their power is one of the main characters, Andy. Now Andy is a character who is pretty goofy sometimes and brings about some of the funnier moments of the series. Now while he is goofy, Andy can also get very serious and is actually quite intelligent. His intelligence comes from the fact that he's been alive for hundreds of years due to his undead power. In fights, Andy is always strategizing and reading his opponents and at times he is shown to understand other people's powers better than they know their own power. But being alive for so long takes a toll on a person. Being basically a immortal means you've watched friends and tons of people come into your life and die over and over again unable to do anything about it. You would think Andy would be depressed and sad from seeing so much death in his life which he kinda is but he keeps it all hidden under a cheerful goofball persona. Really think about that one. Of course there's a lot of great characters in the series such as the ambitious and determined Fuko to the beautiful best girl with a strong sense of justice Yuis. Jews? Yuis? I don't know how to say that. Undead Unluck has a great cast of characters and even the characters who haven't had as much screen time such as Augie's favorite character the black representative Top are still great characters who are just waiting on their time to shine. All in all, Undead Unluck has a great cast of unique and well thought out characters and I'm sure you'll find a character in the bunch that you'll be a fan of. And it just goes to show that with every manga and or anime that's being pushed out right now, it gives enough time for a series like Undead Unluck to build up on its own in due time for success in the near future. And I think that with everything considered, we could be witnessing one of the greatest newest manga in the making and watch how it develops into potentially one of the biggest manga and hopefully future anime of the decade. So now at this point, I guess we're just gonna have to sit and wait for the future of Undead Unluck. So to everyone who made it to the end of the video, I hope you all did enjoy the video. It's actually crazy to see how well this manga is doing along with all the rest of the Rising Jump manga right now. Again, thanks to the homie Jet for hopping on today's video. Make sure you all can go check out his channel. Links as always will be in the description box down below. And I know that for sure when the anime for Under the Luck comes out, it's definitely going to go places farther beyond comprehension. But anyways, make sure before you click off the video to drop a comment on your thoughts on the video and let me know your overall thoughts on the series of Undead and Luck. And if you haven't already, please catch up on the manga while things are still really fresh. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and join the Discord if you have not already. We got the Discord up and running, so join the Discord in the link in the description box down below. Also, shout out to the first legendary member rank of the channel, The Meaning of Nerd. And with that, everyone, my Twitter's at AnimeAugie, and I'll make sure to catch each and every single one of you guys in the next video. Peace.